Hi, I'm Nicole, a fitness expert from sparkpeople.com. Today I'll lead you through day five of our seven day boot camp workout program. This is going to be a lower body workout and you don't need anything except a mat for this. So we're gonna start by lying down onto our backs. Make sure you've got plenty of room for the length of your body. As you roll yourself all the way down, place your feet flat on the floor, about hip width apart. Relax the shoulders, the head and neck, and your arms are just out to the side for support. We're starting with bridges, so keep those abs engaged. As we exhale, we'll just lift the hips towards the ceiling, really squeeze through those glutes, and inhale to release back down. Exhale up, and inhale to lower. Go as high as you feel like you can with control focusing on pulling those hips up towards the ceiling each time. A few more like this. I want to do a few of these because this is our first exercise. It's really going to help to warm up that lower body. <sighs> Make sure you're breathing steady, always pulling the abdominals in to protect your back. Let's just try about three more. <sighs> Exhale every bridge up. And on our last one, let's lift it up and hold here just for a couple deep breaths. Really squeeze and lift those hips. Three, two, one, and release all the way down. Moving into a single leg bridge, which will be a little harder. So make sure those feet are about hip width. I'm going to extend my right leg up. This is more challenging. You can also cross the ankle at your knee. When you're ready then, same exercise on a single leg. Exhale to bridge up and inhale to release down. Keep those abs in tight and still lifting those hips towards the ceiling. You might not quite to be, be able to go as high as you did when you had both feet on the floor and that's okay. Just go as high as you can with control. We'll try three more on this leg. This is two. And on our last one, we're gonna lift it up and hold. Keep those abs in and your back nice and straight. From here, we're adding a little more challenge. I want you to lower the foot towards the floor and then lift it back up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Keeping those hips in line. If you notice your lower back starts to drop or you have difficulty holding this position, I want you to lower the hips back down to the floor as you lift and lower that right leg. Two more times, exhale, lift. And last one, go ahead and drop that foot down and release. Take a little break there. So now we're switching to the right foot on the floor. Your left leg can extend or cross at the knee. When you're ready, exhale, bridge the hips up and inhale to lower down slowly. <sighs> Keeping those abs in tight the whole time. Think about balancing your weight in the heel of that foot on the floor and your shoulders on the mat. We have four more singles. Really lift those hips up as high as you can go each time. Here's our last two. And on our last one, we're gonna try to hold it here. Try to lift those hips and hold steady. Make sure you're breathing. Adding the lifting and lowering with the left leg. Drop your hips if you need to. Inhale to lower that leg, exhale to push up. My abs are in tight. Notice this entire upper body is perfectly still. The position of my lower back and spine isn't changing at all. So if you notice you're having difficulty, lower to the floor with the rest of the body as you lift that leg. Three more, hips up, this is two, and last one all the way up, and slowly release, drop that foot to the floor, and relax. Now I'm gonna roll over onto one side, doesn't matter which side you wanna start here, to work the inner and outer thigh. You can stay propped on the elbow, or all the way down to make this a little easier. So let's stack those legs, draw the shoulders down and back. We're gonna work this outer thigh. I want you to exhale and lift it as high as you can. Inhale to release down slowly. Notice I'm leading with the outside of the leg or the outside of the foot towards the ceiling each time, which means your toes point directly in front of you. What I don't wanna see are the toes pointing towards the ceiling on this. So we have three more. Shoulders are down and back. Relax that upper body. And last one, lift all the way up as high as you can and hold. Now we're gonna circle this leg. Big circles all the way around. Still exhale into the top as you lift that leg up each time. Inhale and as you release it back down. Four more. This is three, really feel that outer thigh and hip. Two, one more time. Now we're reversing it. We're doing eight in the opposite direction. Exhaling up. Inhale and release, keep the rest of the body nice and still. If your shoulder or elbow is bothering you, you can always lay all the way down to the floor. Three more times, abs in, this is two, one more. All the way down, good work. All right, now we're gonna work the inner thigh. You can take your top leg in front 
or you can take it behind, do what's more comfortable for you. Flex that bottom foot. Exhale to lift as high as you can and inhale to release. Again, leading with the inside of the leg this time, the inside of that foot up towards the ceiling. The toes point directly in front of you so you can really focus on that inner thigh. We have two more. And last one, all the way up and hold. We're gonna do those circles again, either direction. As big as you can make that circle, but allowing control in the rest of the body. We don't want momentum or we're not just swinging this leg around. It should be a slow controlled movement. Three more in this direction. Keep breathing, exhale, lift. Last one, now reverse, opposite direction with your circle, eight of them. Exhale to the top of it. Try to keep that movement big. The bigger it is, the harder you're working. Last four, exhale up for three. This is two, here's our last one. And slowly release. We're just gonna switch sides. So take your time, swing those legs around to the opposite side. Again, on the elbow or all the way down towards the floor, stack those legs and flex the feet when you're ready. Top leg, exhale, lift it up. Inhale, release it down. Notice the rest of the body is nice and relaxed here. I'm not leaning or swaying forward or back. We really wanna focus on just the lower body, outer thigh. Feel it in that hip a little bit. Use your top hand for support out in front to keep this stationary. Two more. Last one all the way up and hold. Big circle, either direction, eight of them. Exhale to the top of it each time. Make sure you're not changing the position of that foot. So my toes are still pointing directly to the front. I'm still focusing on that outer thigh up towards the ceiling. Three more. Exhale up for two. Last one. We're gonna reverse it, opposite direction. <sighs> Make sure you're still breathing here. I know you're really feeling that outer thigh and getting tired, but try to keep making that movement big, but also controlled. Don't just let your leg fall down each time. Three more. This is two. Last one, big circle. And release, inner thigh now. So the top leg out in front or behind. Do what's more comfortable for you. Flex that foot, exhale, lift it up, and inhale, release. <sighs> Again, a big, as big of a movement as you can make here. Lead that inner thigh, the inside part of that shoe each time, up towards the ceiling. <sighs> last three, exhale, pull it up. This is two. And here's our last one, all the way up as high as you can go. Circles, either direction, starting with eight in one direction. Good. As big as you can make it. This is our last exercise before we stretch, so you're almost there. Four more. Make sure you're breathing steady. This is two. Here's our last one. We still got to reverse it though, opposite way, eight. Then you're finished. Lead with the inside of that foot all the way up. Big movement all the way around. Four more times. This is three. Here's two. Last one all the way up and around. And slowly release. All right, we're ready to finish with a few stretches. I'm gonna come back onto my back and slowly roll all the way down. Just hug your knees in towards your chest. Begin to relax your shoulders away from your ears and take a couple deep breaths in. I'm gonna hold on to this right leg. Extend your left leg all the way down to the floor, your right arm to the side, and keeping your shoulders on the mat the whole time, pull that knee across the midline of the body. For a little more challenge, turn to look over your right shoulder. Make sure you're breathing. Another deep breath there. And bring it back onto your back. From here, I'm gonna extend that right leg up and pull it gently towards me to get a nice stretch through the back of that thigh. It's okay to keep this knee bent a little bit. One more deep breath in and exhale. See if you can take it a little deeper. Good, hug that knee towards the chest. Place your left foot flat to the floor. I'm gonna cross the ankle at the knee and then grab the back of that left thigh as I hug those legs in. This is a great stretch for those glutes and the outside of that hip that we just worked pretty hard. Hold on to that left leg and go ahead and extend that right leg back down to the floor. This time the left arm out to your side. Keep the shoulders square on the mat and bring that knee across the body. A little more challenge, turn your head to look over the shoulder. Deep breath there 
and roll onto your back. Extend that leg up, pull it gently towards you. Make sure you're not stretching to the point of pain, but you really do feel a stretch of the hamstring. You can always bend this up opposite knee to protect your lower back if you're having any issues there. And let's hug it in. Right foot flat to the floor, cross the left ankle at the knee, and here's our last stretch. Go ahead and hug those legs in towards you. Try to relax there, take another deep breath. And when you're ready, slowly rock yourself all the way back up. And we're finished with day five of our seven day boot camp workout plan. For more fitness ideas, visit sparkpeople.com.